In Japan, nutrition improvement is provided at every life stage, from the prenatal period to old age, through prenatal checkups, infant health checkups, the school lunch program, and general health checkups. Through the consistent promotion of such nutrition policies and measures up to today, Japan overcame malnutrition in only a few decades following the end of World War II. Children's health has improved through repeated efforts, and Japan's life expectancy is among the longest in the world. Meanwhile, Japan has one of the lowest rates of obesity among developed nations. Japan provides various nutrition-related services. They are linked to the country's maternal and child health services, which are focused on the first 1,000 days, the period from a mother's pregnancy up through her child's early childhood. The foundation of healthy eating habits is then built from preschool through middle school with the school lunch program and food and nutrition education, or shokuiku. These programs foster a strong awareness of health and promote good eating habits among the Japanese people from their childhood. How are Japan's maternal and child nutrition programs and shokuiku being implemented? This video summarizes maternal and child nutrition and shokuiku as part of the primary functions of various Japanese agencies. The Maternal and Child Health, or MCH Handbook, is a very important tool for keeping a continuous record of health and nutrition during pregnancy, lactation, infancy, and early childhood. For example, it contains records of the mother's weight monitoring during pregnancy and child growth and development, as well as essential information on such matters as breastfeeding and complementary feeding. This is the Oyoko branch of Hachioji City Health and Welfare Center in Tokyo. People come here every day to pick up their MCH handbooks. At the counter, expectant mothers receive a package that contains an MCH handbook, prenatal checkup vouchers, and a booklet of useful information for pregnancy, postnatal, and child care. This is Hanako and her family. She had her first child nine months ago. She says that the services provided by the Municipal Health Center have helped alleviate her worries and concerns related to raising her baby. The baby's development and the mother's health status are monitored in the prenatal checkups. Weight control during pregnancy is an important matter. While the mother will gain weight as the baby grows, if her weight gain is more than what is appropriate, the mother may be advised to do light exercise or improve her diet. On the other hand, if her weight is lower than desirable, the mother may be advised to take adequate nutrition and rest. Participation in mother's or parent's classes during pregnancy provides opportunities to prepare for breastfeeding and learn about available support for mothers and babies. Let's look at the MCH handbook. In addition to medical and health service records, it includes the history of the mother's health during pregnancy as well as the child's health and growth. It also contains tips on infant care including breastfeeding, complementary feeding, preventing home accidents, and first aid. There is a wealth of other information about diet and nutrition during pregnancy, postnatal, and lactating periods. 
これを見ながら、えー、と養蚕が多いものだったり鉄分が多いものだったりバランスよくご飯を食べるように心がけました。Hanako had a safe delivery thanks in part to regular checkups. At the delivery facility, a mother receives advice from a midwife on the importance of colostrum and tips on how to breastfeed. Once a mother and her baby return home from a delivery facility, a midwife, public health nurse, or local volunteer makes home visits for newborns as soon as they can. This is the first opportunity to connect families that have newborns with the community. The health personnel come and see the mother and baby to monitor the baby's weight gain, breastfeeding, and infant care. They also listen to mothers on anxiety about life with baby, as well as their health, and provide necessary support. で,でまあ子どもの健康の状態とあと私が何か困ってることがないかっていうのをメインでいろいろ話を聞いてくださいました。If there are any issues with the mother or the babies, healthcare or social welfare professionals continue to follow up afterwards. After the birth, Infants and young children receive several health checkups. The health checkups take place at the Municipal Health Center, Maternal and Child Health Center, or at a medical facility. The health checkups for infants aged 18 and 36 months are prescribed by law. There are also voluntary checkups conducted by the municipality. Generally, the municipal office notifies families with babies or children of the relevant age in advance. Usually, they are conducted as group checkups at a municipal health center on a designated day. Professionals from multiple disciplines check infants and children of the same age on their development, nutrition, and the presence of any congenital illnesses. These checkups help families receive appropriate support, including mental health care, if required. It is a valuable opportunity for mothers and fathers to consult with physicians and public health nurses about any concerns they may have had in relation to caring for their child. 子供の検診に行った時に身長と体重を測ってえっとまあずっと曲線の中に入ってるんですけど最初はずっとマックス値だったのが途中からこう真ん中に寄ってきてあれこの子あんまり体重増えてないのかなと思ったんですけど曲線
Breastfeeding and complementary feeding are extremely important stages for an infant's health. It is vital that healthcare professionals support parents who are unfamiliar with breastfeeding and complementary feeding. Each baby is unique in terms of appetite, eating behavior, growth, and development pattern. Therefore, the health personnel should be flexible in supporting parents on complementary feeding with careful consideration of the living circumstances of each child, eating habits of each family, and food culture of each region. In Japan, the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare published the guidelines on support for breastfeeding and complementary feeding. It helps maternal, newborn and child health personnel to assist mothers in efficient, healthy feeding. Many municipalities hold complementary feeding classes. Parents learn when and how to start their babies on complementary feeding as well as how to prepare it. They even get a chance to taste the complementary foods. Also, some municipalities offer telephone counseling services. そうですね、やはり赤ちゃんの成長を待ってはくれないのでやっぱりその時期時期に合わせた、えー、と知識とかあとやり方があるのでそういったことが分からなくて過ぎていってしまうとやはり取り返しがつかないことも多々出てくると思うのでそれなのできちんとその時期に合わせてやはりやるっていう意味はとても重要なのであと一番最初に食べ,させ食べてもらい方ですねそういったことのお話を、えー、丁寧にするようにはしています。Through such maternal and child nutrition services provided at health checkups and various health education opportunities, there's a system in place to provide consistent support from pregnancy and childbirth through a child's infancy. 乳児健診、幼児健診、そして保育園、幼稚園、小学校、中学校、それぞれの場面で栄養が子ども、生徒、まさに健康の基本の木であるというところを繰り返したくさんの皆さんに関わってもらって、えー、身に染みつけるそういうふうになることを願って、えー、専門職地域の皆さん、えー、サポートをしているというのが日本の実情です。Young children learn various things such as about life, culture, interpersonal relationships, health, and cooking through the act of eating. Nursery schools provide lunches and carry out education relating to food and nutrition from infancy with the aim of building up, through their daily meals, a wealth of food related experiences that are suitable for each stage of mental and physical development. This system is known as Shokuiku, or Food and Nutrition Education. At this nursery school, the children go out in autumn to experience digging up sweet potatoes. Children look forward to this fun event. The aim is to have them develop a greater interest in food by coming into direct contact with ingredients and to learn the importance of food. <laughs> the event is carried out while keeping in mind nurturing children who enjoy food and eating with others by accumulating such food related experiences during play and in their daily life. やはり子どもたち自分で取った野菜やさつまいもなどは本当に苦手でも食べようって食べたいなっていう思いがみんな生まれてくるので育てる楽しみで育てている人たちがいてくれて私たちは美味しいものが食べられているっていうところを感じてもらえるっていう食育として大切にしています。
all children start elementary school at the age of six as part of Japan's compulsory education system. During primary education, the school lunch program and shokuiku are stipulated under the School Lunch Program Act. Shokuiku in elementary school and beyond aims to give children correct knowledge about food, have them think about their own diet, and practice good eating habits. Shokuiku at school takes place not only at lunchtime. It also occurs during various subjects, as well as in individual counseling when needed. From the perspective of nutrition, the hope is that the school lunch will serve as a lifelong model of a nutritionally balanced meal. This is the Senju Honcho Elementary School in Adachi City, Tokyo. At lunchtime, the children first wash their hands. Those on lunch duty wear appropriate attire and prepare to serve lunch. Once the lunch trays are ready, the children come and collect them. The menu changes daily. However, school lunches always include a staple food, main dish, and side dish. These three elements are the basics for considering the nutritional balance of a single meal. The aim is to have children remember their school lunches as a model of a balanced meal after they are grown up and cook for themselves or others. The school lunch nutrition standards are the basis of the menus. They specify children's energy requirements and guideline values of various nutrients. For example, 12 year olds require one and a half to three times more nutrients than six year olds. Menus are designed to ensure this as well as the consumption of the nutrients that tend to be insufficient in home meals, as well as those nutrients required during development. <laughs> Diet and nutrition teachers, or registered dietitians with teaching licenses, are assigned to schools. They are responsible for shokuiku at school and in the integrated management of the school lunch program, including shokuiku, menu preparation, and hygiene control. この学校の子どもたちにはどんな栄養が足りないかなっていうのを念頭に置きながら、えっとこの学校独自、まあ基本的に足立区のえっと基準は満たすようにしていますが、この学校の児童に不足しがちなもの、この学校の子は好きなもの
registered dietitians and dietitians also play a part, undertaking the provision of nutritional guidance and dietary management. In schools, registered dietitians and dietitians engage in management of the school lunch program. Also, diet and nutrition teachers play an important role in promoting shokuiku in school. Preschool and kindergarten teachers, as well as dietary improvement promoters in the community, engage in activities to promote good health through food. Maternal and child health promoters also carry out activities to increase health literacy. They all work in cooperation with the government and other specialists. What policies form the foundation of Japan's maternal and child nutrition improvement and health promotion? The Community Health Act serves as the basic policy for community health measures. It stipulates the responsibilities of public health centers and municipal health centers. The registered dietitian and dietitian system is prescribed under the Dietitians Act, while shokuiku promotion is prescribed under the Basic Act on Shokuiku, and maternal and child health and nutrition supervision are set out in the Maternal and Child Health Act. The school lunch program is prescribed under the School Lunch Program Act. Historically in Japan, nutrition improvement and shokuiku approaches have been promoted and developed under government-led initiatives. The principal ministries involved in nutrition improvement and shokuiku initiatives are the MHLW, MEXT, and MAF, which collaborate with the Cabinet Office. A national, multi-sectoral approach is taken in Japan. Accomplishments of these policies and programs are monitored through the annual National Health and Nutrition Survey. National surveys on preschool children are conducted every 10 years. The results are fed back and reflected in policies and measures. In Japan, nutrition improvement and shokuiku are undertaken through a variety of maternal and child health services and associated nutrition services, focused on the period from a mother's pregnancy through the child's infancy. Beyond that, the foundation of a healthy diet is built through the school lunch program and shokuiku at schools. This has led to a strong awareness of health and good eating habits nurtured from childhood among the Japanese people. Eyo栄養の専門職を作ったということですね。その経験を生かして日本の歩んできた栄養が貢献できるんではないかなという Goal 2 of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which were adopted by the United Nations in 2015, is Zero Hunger. It aims to eradicate all forms of hunger and malnutrition by 2030. 
This is a goal that will be key for the achievement of all sustainable development goals. JICA leverages Japan's knowledge and engages in nutrition improvement activities in developing countries and regions, aiming at health and well-being of mothers and children, as well as all people in the community. Among developing countries, there are many where the status of maternal and child health is similar to Japan 75 years ago, following the end of World War II. Many people still need help with sufficient and nutritious foods due to the serious impact of poverty and climate change as well as conflict. On the other hand, overweight, obesity and diet-related non-communicable diseases are increasing among children in many countries and regions. In any circumstance, all people wish children healthy growth and a hopeful future. To realize the health and wellness of people in developing countries, JICA believes the accumulated experience and knowledge on nutrition improvement in Japan can be leveraged. As such, JICA has been working with various personnel in the community and public and private sectors with the aim of improving the nutrition of mothers and children.